All right, we're back here because there's something I realized. I am not going to go to the Covenant yet, but I am going to at least ignite the bonfire there. And also there's an item along the way that I need. Yeah, death to you. Up here. Kill the deacon. Yeah. Fuck your religion. Oh yeah, I forgot he gives you the deep ring. Every time I kill him, I forget that. Achievement of additional spells. A ring is bestowed upon the deacons of the cathedral of the deep. Allows achievement of additional spells. In the cathedral, slum slumber things most terrible. And as such, the deacons require a grand narrative to ensure that they do not falter in their duty. Philosophy toward well a philosophy to ward away the madness beckoned by the grotesques at hand. There's an item at the end, I'm not sure if it's worth it. I'm not sure if it's worth the hassle to get there, but it's just is it here? Here it is. Alright. So this place is fun. This place is fun. Mainly because he just fell off. You going there? I wonder if I can get this guy to fall off. Because I know it's doable. There we go. This is what we need. A blessed gem. I still have one of them and one of these. I need to do that. Create a blessed weapon. These things, heavy damage to reanimated enemies. That's what I, that's what I need because where? Oh, I fucking almost fell off twice. Oh, okay, I felt a chill go through my body as that happened. Jesus. How's it going there, friend? Bye bye. Okay. Yeah, I just need to get past you. Okay, you can hit me, that's fine. No, 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 don't you fucking dare. Don't you, okay. Okay. Jiminy Christmas. Alright. Pull this back up after Patches lowered it. There's more of these guys, but let's just say no. Let's just say no. There's more, but let's just say no. And here we have Rosaria. We have the goddess of reincarnation right here. Don't know why. I'm not going to talk to her. I don't want to fuck up the character quest line. Also, there's normally two slugs sitting next to her that I can kill. If you kill Kirk, the Knight of Thorns, and that yellow finger guy that kept invading me. If you kill both of them, there will be one of those slugs on either side of her that you can kill and they drop their gear. Not entirely sure what that means. That might mean that if you follow her her um, covenant and you die, you become a slug. If so, that's a pretty raw deal. But now that that's sorted, now that that's all well and good. Ah, did what? Infuse. Let's infuse the brigand axe with holy. Pretty be careful. <laughs> What's, what's the damage it does? What's the damage it does? 91 plus 18 compared to... Wow, that's, that's a big drop. That's a big drop. I can still I can still use it and quick roll. Oh, hello. And in one P. You don't have anything... 
Goodbye. Nope. Right. And do you have anything new to say, Yuria? Speak thy desire, honorable Orbeck of Vinheim. Is it if left of? Right, all right. And Harkwood is gone for a bit. Okay, this is this is gonna be fun. As you can see, as you can see, Anri is gone as well. So we have to go to the Abyss Watchers room. I'm so paranoid now, I just had to check that I was recording. The catacombs of Carthus. Now, if you get here and you haven't drawn out your strength five times with um, Yorel, he'll die. He'll, he'll die instantly the moment you come through here. And Yuria will never show up. So you got to draw your strength five times before getting here if you want Yuria to show up. And I, I could have I upped my axe, but I didn't. Just because this, the, this area isn't exactly long. So I didn't figure I'd need it for that long. It's mainly just so if I actually kill these skeletons, that they won't get back up. They will stay dead. There's another way to make them stay dead that doesn't involve you, but I'll get I'll get there when I get there. And that hit no one. All right. Honestly, with how little damage this axe did. I may as well just attack him with my own thing and then when they're one hit away switch to the axe and kill him. Which I might actually do. That's actually a really good idea. I astound myself sometimes. Yeah. That item switch up. Don't mess with this item switch up game. Carthus Pyromancy. Oh yeah, I seem to give that. A Pyromancy Tome from Carthus containing Pyromancy is crafted for battle. Give to the old Pyromancer to learn advanced Pyromancies of the Great Swamp. Carthus Pyromancy is developed in isolation from other forms, explaining their divergent evolution. And then there's this boy. Ninja Skeleton. That's where he is. Fucking... Like, I'm not joking, this guy's a Ninja Skeleton. One hit, one hit, come on. Or two, alright. I've got Kukri's and the Titanite Slab. Or not a slab, sorry. Titanite Shard, and he's dead. Okay. These guys are a bitch. And these guys are designed to eat your stamina. Also, they disappear when they roll. Come on. I just want you dead. I just want you people to stay dead. I honestly should have upped the axe instead of just making it blessed, but oh well. It's too late for that now. 
So I'm not going to have to actually deal with them for that long. Like, surprisingly enough, these catacombs are really small areas. I think it's because people, well, I say people, how FromSoft realised that no one liked the catacombs in the other games. So they were like, ah, oh, fine. That guy died and I got souls for it despite killing him with my sword. Ha. Huh. Okay. Hey, Anri, what's oh, up? Hello. How very fortunate. Have you seen my companion, Horace? To my shame, I was snared by a trap and we've become separated. I've not been able to find him since. Yes, I see. Horus is a valiant knight. He can look after himself, no question. He's probably searching for me right now, with twice the resolve. If you happen upon him, please tell him that I remain in the catacombs and will lay prism stones to guide him, as always. Please send him my word, I beg of you. May the flames guide your way. If you happen How do you lose horse, track of your friend? And please may the How do you lose track of your friend? Come on. Really? Well, I get the thing anyway, so it's all good. That's one thing I do love. If they manage to fall off, if you got a hit in. Sometimes, even if you didn't get a hit in... You still get the item, and I love that. Although if they disappear on their own, then you're fucked. And this, this part is a nuisance sometimes. This bloody bull. This bloody bull can kill skeletons, but it can also destroy you. Now... Yeah, okay, it's this way, alright. There's not too much of this area left, but there's enough. And let me just check something. I got I got souls for that. I got souls for that as well. So that's weird. Normally they pick themselves back up, but like this one will because I didn't get souls for it. Not entirely sure what dictates which ones re revive and which ones don't. Strange. Now, can I get through without triggering the traps? Nope. Oh, okay, this thing shielded me. Alright. One of my favourite rings right here. Carthus Milk Ring. Worn by warriors of the Sand Kingdom. Carthus, slightly boosts dexterity and obscures the wearer while rolling. The sword technique of Carthus allows for fluid movement with a curved sword. Masters of the technique are said to dazzle their opponents by moving as weightlessly as a grain of sand. They live their yeah they live for their high lord Walnir or Volnir, conqueror of most kingdoms known to their people. I love this. Like it's not I don't think it works for PVE. I think it I think it doesn't matter to the computer. But I just like I just like the Invisi roll. I think it's a ring more suited for PvP though.
I've got no souls for that, so he's going to come back. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. I want to kill that guy so he stops throwing these bombs, but... These weird hex bombs. No. There's an ember. Thank you. You all fall down there. That has killed me so many times. And what do we have here? Ah, yeah. Bonfire. Now there's a few more items to get and then we're basically done with the entire area. Also a few more enemies to kill. And we wait for him to come back. And we go. Run da dun 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 Run da dun 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 He's gonna fuck you up. Go. Now, is it this way? No, this is just, this is just these. Alright. Die! There we go. Okay. Now we have our old friends, the wheel skeletons. And also down here we now have those invisi roll guys because I made them drop down the hole. And all that's down here is a ring I'll never use, but oh, they're not here. Oh, because I, I, I rested the bonfire. That's why. All right. Yeah, yeah. Let's just dodge the wheel skeletons, so we don't need none of that in our lives. We don't need them in our lives. I also want to point out all of the dead people that just clumped up on the floor, which is kind of messed up. An ember. Ring worn by war. Uh, oh, no. Oh, no. I forgot. I forgot. Oh, Jesus. I forgot about this guy. Right, well, gonna have to continue talking later. I'm gonna have to come to come back to a bit later as well, because, because oh boy. Okay, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to skip a bit and come back. I have to skip a bit and come back, because I fear this guy like you don't understand. He has the fume sword. He has the fume sword. And he's wearing black knight gear. I'll come back for you as well. Okay. 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 Just keep running. Just keep running. Run, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. I'm the gingerbread man. Look at all these skelly bros. Okay, and now let's just watch the Red Phantom. And is he going to walk off? Nope. Alright. There we go. I hate that guy with a vengeance. Ring of the Savage Sorg. Or Sorg. Sorg. More commonly known as the Night Slayer, enemies lose more stamina when guarding attacks. Long ago, Sorig engaged the guardians of an ancient city in a bloody confrontation and returned with their rings as his prize, still frozen on their dismembered fingers. <gasps> that guy is messed up, and over there is Anri. 
We'll get to Anri in a second. Because now if we go down here... There's one of these. There's a mimic up there as well. That guy's actually a person of importance that we have to kill. But I'll kill him later. Because I just want to do one thing. And then teleport out. Alright, light the bonfire, which is good. Now we get this. Old Sage's blindfold and a witch's ring. A tire of pyromancer of the Great Swamp, particularly favoured by old sages. A large blindfold blocks out unnecessary light, allowing one to observe pyromancer's true essence. The flame reveals all and obscures all. And the Witch of Isolith and her daughters, scorched by the flame of chaos, taught humans the art of pyromancy and offered them this ring. Greatly boosts pyromancers. Every pyromancer is familiar with the parable that tells that the witch is expo exposing the needs of fear to the flame and teaching the art of pyromancy to men in hopes that they might learn to control it. Now why do you think that you would get the ring, the witch's ring of Isolith in the smoldering lake? This place has a lot of law implications that I am not willing to talk about right now because of that. Can I just pick this up quickly? Ah, can. Alright. And now we're just gonna go through this little this little thing here. Because there are three things of import. There is this thing of import. There's that thing of import. Which might go through the wall because it does that sometimes. God damn it. God damn. There we go. And there's that thing of import. Horace, buddy, what's up? What's up, man? Anri's looking for you. Anri's looking for... Oh, oh, hello. Hello, what's going on here? What's going on here, Horace? Horace, man, what's up? What you doing? What you doing, man? Man, what you doing? Yeah, he's gone insane. I'm not sure why. But Horace has gone insane. Which is a little sad, but we gotta do what we gotta do. Come on, man. Don't do this. Don't make me do this, man. Don't make me do this, man. Hey, hey, don't you kick me. I kick you. You know what, you know what buddy? Don't worry about it. I'll look after, I'll look after Henry. I'll look after Henry. You, you just, you know, you do you. You can kick people out of a charge attack like that? Like I was in the middle of attacking. Huh. That's new. Let me see if I can land the parry. Let me see if I can land one parry this entire playthrough. You can stop doing the spinning attack. Okay, stagger too strong. Stagger too strong. I can't parry out of a stagger. Ah, well. And we got his shield. Where is it? Metal shield crafted by a great smith. Fashioned from rare Gia steel. Gaia, Gaia skill? Gia steel. It excels at various types of damage absorption. Ah, oh, Horus. Horus, I hardly knew ye. 
Why did it have to come to this, Horace? We could have been friends. We could have been friends. And now we're going to go back to the shrine bonfire. Because I have 30,000 souls on me. I don't want to lose that. And I've also got Esther shard and unbone, un, uh, undead bone shards I need to burn. Ah, oh, Horace. Horace, what, what happened to you? You were so cool, man. Jeez, what? Pradebi. Very well, that he can... You know what? Let's get us up to 15. Farewell, I shall made of... Welcome oh yeah, home, I Ashen forgot. One. Speak thy... Ashen One, this is... Much like what lies within me. Then let it find its own place within my bosom. She will understand. We are both fire keepers after all. Forgive me, and sister. And she can now heal the dark sign. May the flames guide thy way. Yeah, Farewell, she can now, she can now the heal the dark sign. If I wanted her to. I don't, but if I wanted her to, she can. So now we go to the catacombs of Carthus. And now we do what we were supposed to. Before I got scared by Sarg. Sarg? Sorg? Sarg? I, I still don't know. I might put that in text to speech and just see what they say. Sorg, maybe. But. I, before I got scared by him, I had things I had planned to do. I've been told you can kill that. But, like, I don't... Because every if you get near it, if it touches you slightly, you get thrown back and take a lot of damage. So, maybe you can. I don't know. I also forgot to burn the undead bone shard. So that's annoying. I'll do that later. Now we're going to go up here. Going to probably die needlessly trying to get random bits of loot. Right, no. So I think I think a rat got killed. How did you miss me? How did you miss me? Grave Warden's ashes, that's it. I'll go through this illusionary wall. No. Now let's get you. Fire gem, alright. Softly, softly, catchy McMonkey. Ah, no. Ah, well. Grave Warden Ashes. Umbral Ashes, the Grave Warden of the Catacombs of Carthus. With this, to try and make yeah. Oh, the old man began as a squire, carrying his master's accoutrements. He ended his days as a Grave Warden and carried them still. Now, I believe a Grave Warden is... Or a Grave Warden. Is, um, reference to the Grave Wardens in Dark Souls 2. Who basically lived... For dark in the catacombs of the lords of a, uh, what was it, of Vendrick. And if you lit a torch, they'd attack you. But if you stayed, if you kept things dark, they'd be fine. Is anyone coming? Uh, those two are coming, but are they, yeah, they're gonna be a nuisance. All right, bear with me, Henry. I've got your back. Did I even need to switch? I don't think I did. And how do you backstab a skeleton? How do you backstab a skeleton? Explain that to me. But you see that girl? You don't need Horace. You got me. I mean, what? No, Horace oh, is totally fine. Hello. We meet again. Have you seen Horace anywhere? Now you can tell her of the smoldering lake, or you cannot. 
Oh, I'm yes, gonna know. I see. I've searched high and low with no luck. Perhaps he's left the catacombs. Oh, Horace, where have you run off to? Yeah, if you tell if you tell her about What? What? What was what was Okay. If you tell her about um your smouldering lake, she goes down there and then goes insane and attacks you on sight. So don't do that. You can if you want. I'm not I'm not gonna. I'm gonna continue her particular quest line because it's rather interesting. You guys gonna die? Yeah, you gonna die. Alright. Now let's have some fun. Now this is this is a very this is a very co-op heavy area. Like people struggle with this boss. It's not that hard, but people struggle with this boss and they summon all the co-op they can. Which makes it harder because I have tested no summons, one summon, two summon, and three summons. Not me summoning three people, but three people being summoned. This boss gets insanely difficult with every summon. Unless your, like your weapon is over leveled. Look at this spooky shit. Look at it. And all you see in the distance, all you see in the distance is an item. Doesn't that look tempting? Doesn't that look tempting? Hello! Hello, boss man! Now, this guy is a bitch. Like, he is annoying to deal with. Because you see that behind him, all that smoke, that's instant death. You see this? The smoke he spits out, instant death. Now I am glad I got shown this, but you can hide behind the smoke at his arm. And do damage to him. Because if you're in front of him, then you have to run against the back wall to avoid the smoke. And you will most likely die a horrible death. But the gimmick for this fight, because you can't get near him or the smoke kills you, you have to attack his bracelets. Ah, I thought he was going to charge. Alright. There, there are times where he charges forward. So if you're behind him, the smoke will kill you instantly. So you've got to watch out for that shit. Like, I think he's going to do it. He's going to compose himself and he's going to charge. Yep, charge time. Now if you're not if you're not waiting for it like I was, you would just die there. So, yeah, he's gonna do the smoke, alright. No, don't kick. And he's dead. And he's dead. Simple as. I'm I was able to kill him before like four different mechanics kicked in.
Thank God for that. Thank God for that. Because if you take too long, he stops summoning... We well, start summoning skeletons. Normal skeletons. Wheel skeletons. And the invisible... The invisible uh, roll big sword skeletons. Like, it's just crazy. Then he brings out a massive sword. Starts doing AoEs. It's like... You, you need to kill him quickly. Because if you don't, then you're just fucked. Like, oh god. And now we're here at the Irrefield of the Boreal Valley. And we got some things we need to read. Grave War and Pyromancy Tome. A Pyromancy Tome with a Grave Warden from the Carthus uh, Catacombs. I almost said Cathedral. Gift of Pyromancy Master to learn Black Flame Sorceries. High Lord Volnir of Carthus succumbed to the Abyss. But the Pyromancer later became a Grave Warden and discovered the Black Flame. And also... Oh no. Lord Volner of Carthus sentenced countless souls to gruesome deaths, keen to outlive them all. He's a crazy man. Now we go back here. Actually... Let's do this, because there's a thing we need to do first, before I, before I go back. Unless I die, in which case, then I'll go back anyway. This thing needs to die. Now, I'm not a master at dodging this thing. But every time it opens its mouth, dodge. Just straight up. Every time it opens its mouth, you dodge. Unless you're healing. And it kills you. Alright. Alright then. This thing needs to die. You can just dodge it. You can just run past it. But you need to kill it if you want to do NPC side quests. And give me the extra health. I wonder. No, there's normally uh, people putting down their signs to help kill this thing. 